see we have people joining. Hello, everybody. We're just giving everyone another minute or so to join today's presentation. So sit tight. We'll be right with you. They're piling in. Mm -hmm. We need to get some Engage Nation theme music to play. <laughs> All right, I see, I see people still coming into the queue, so we'll give it another 30 seconds, and then we'll get today's presentation started. All right, looks like we've we've plateaued on on people coming in. Uh, for those of you who have colleagues or friends or peers coming to the, today's presentation, we are recording. So just feel free to shoot us an email afterwards, and we'll be in touch um, if you do need the recording for today. Let's get started. Today's presentation, uh, an Engage Nation webinar, winning with employees: lessons from gaming on how to grow employee engagement that helps your organization win. We can be in partnership with Soaring Eagle Casino and Resort and iHub app. Um, also, just for our attendees today, if you see a little Q&A box down at the bottom, that's for you. We want to hear from you. We want you to ask questions. So if there's anything that pops into your head along the way as our presenters are going, feel free to pop them in there. We may save some of the questions for the end, but we'll be happy to make sure they get addressed on today's presentation. All right, jumping right into the agenda. Uh, we're doing introductions and welcome. Then transformative internal engagement through internet innovations. Neven Sprague with Soaring Eagle will present. And then driving high engagement with iHub app technology, a sales perspective. Uh, that presentation will be done by Heather Lee, who's joining us today from Engage Nation. And then uh, Hub App, a gateway to enhance employee engagement from Carolyn Hart of iHub app. Then, like I just mentioned, we'll get to the Q&A. So uh, if there are questions, we'll go ahead and take care of those at the end. And then anything, closing remarks, where to find people, who's going to IGA, all the fun stuff. Uh, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and introduce myself. I'm your host, Darren Withers. I'm not going to go through this. You can read on the screen, but um, I'm a casino mobile consultant. Been in and around the casino space for 20 plus years, how old I am. And uh, I, love, I love hosting these types of webinars with my friends and colleagues and clients. So. Um, going on to Nieben Sprague, Guest Experience Specialist for Soaring Eagle Gaming. Uh, Nieben, why don't you go ahead and give today's attendees a little bit about yourself. Good morning or afternoon for everybody. Uh, my name is Nieben Sprague. I'm a Guest Experience Specialist for the Soaring Eagle Casino and Resort and also the Saginaw Eagles Landing Casino, which is our sister company. Um, what I do is um, the internal relations between guests and also our uh, team members as well. And I've been working very hardly uh, on our internet system internally, and I call it my baby. So I um, I just like to have the grasp on this. <laughs> um, but um, we, I'm just looking, we were looking to increase our communication and streamline accurate data throughout both of our properties. and. Yeah, so on to our. Did you want to? Slide. Did you want to screen? Could you want to share your screen? Um. Yeah. Okay. Um, Pass that to you. Excellent. All righty. <clears throat> So before our partnership, we ran off from a web-based newsletter that didn't really have a lot of access to a lot of our team members. Um, the link wasn't shared very often, and it wasn't very user-friendly, as when you updated information, it only updated within on the hour, which is not very convenient for when we had to push out important information. Um, so the information that flow was often inaccurate and outdated, and it wasn't making it to all levels. So. It would start at the director level, make it to the manager, supervisor, and sometimes that's where it would stop. We would often have times where people were very uninformed about a lot of things. So it was very inconvenient when we're telling people 
the front desk that, oh, you can enjoy breakfast at Legends, but little did we know Legends closed at uh, nine this morning, so they can't go enjoy breakfast. So we're just giving out inaccurate information, which is causing distrust with our team members. So um, there wasn't really anything user-friendly that was implemented, and we just were looking for solutions to close that gap and make sure things were being consistent throughout our properties. Um, <clears throat> so we were lost. We were just completely lost. What do we do? We started searching the internet for many solutions. We ran through a lot of different um, demos with different companies, but um, ultimately on the front end of our operations, Heather introduced Tanya, or Darren introduced Tanya to our, um, to Carolyn for the Inspire Hub. And it, it seemed like something that was going to be very helpful and plausible for our company. And so we came upon Inspire Hub. Um, and with the Inspire Hub, uh, short for our iHub, iHub app, which is a web-based app. So you can, any type of update is automatically pushed out. No need to wait for any downloads or go to any app store to push out anything like that. Um, so some of the stuff we'll be going over is the build, uh, launching iHub, uh, get, garnering interest, learning and training hurdles, and also the self-sustainability that it has created. <laughs> so when we started, uh, we tried to implement it on a mass scale and realized that this isn't really working. Um, so we wanted to fix a lot of things for all of the teams, but we tried very aggressively in the beginning, which we found a little more simpler to do is by simplifying our channels and to information based on our properties and to get more engagement with our line level employees. We incentivized our signups during our annual family fund day. And um, that allowed them to have a little more incentive to get on there and see what was going on. And then ultimately our most visited page is our lunch menu. So we focused on content that the employees would want. So that was one of them. Um, so uh, with that incentivization, we gave extra raffle tickets to many of our team members who signed up and used the iHub app. So we had about 70 gifts that we raffled off at our family one day. They were able to put extra tickets in those for a chance to win. I also do a lot of gas card giveaways. And with marketing, I asked them, you know, let's create more employee engagement. Let's get more people involved. Let's show them also appreciation. And they so graciously gave us two tickets to each of our concert shows. And we're able to raffle those off by just going and either ask a simple question or ask a question that's based on the property or their work area. Um, so once we started getting interest in the line level, we noticed that that accountability was moving on to the supervisors and management. And so we started to host drop-in style trainings for anybody who was interested in learning the system, how to post and interacting with their teammates at a, at a more even level. And so some of our learning and trading hurdles were some of the older team members obviously aren't very tech savvy. So <clears throat> they don't have the latest up-to-date technology or some of them still do carry flip phones. <laughs> and then, um, but it has been beneficial to some departments as they're able to load iHub onto their department computer and they're able to view the feed, view the feed and see what's going on, and see what donation drives or giveaways are going on and what their department is doing as well. Um, we do stress that not everybody does utilize their channels, but it is beneficial to be on here because we post a lot of great information that needs to be seen. <laughs> so with that, well, I kind of went over the management resistance already, but um, so it kind of wasn't going well on them. A lot of people are weary about learning new things. So that's why we went to the um, line level showed the management the data and how their employees were engaging. So eventually they were also on board as well. Mm -hmm. And then, so the reliance with success, there was the at and outage. Uh, we revealed our staff's reliance on the hub as whenever anything little happens with the hub where things aren't loading or 
um, anything nowadays, I'm always getting an email like, what's going on? How come this isn't working? Where beforehand, engagement was so low, nobody even cared to ask. But now it's so, we use it so much that they, they just want to know what the heck's going on. And I'm willing to let them know as long as I can get, get a good answer. And Carolyn's pretty good at providing that feedback for me. <laughs> And then another one of our uh, learning and training hurdles was that when we started, the platform sends out um, newsletters that you can either choose to do daily or weekly. Um, ours was turned on to weekly, but the scale of our operation was up to 2,000 employees. And um, it was uh, overrunning our IT servers, and it just was stopping everything in its tracks, and we had to work together and the Carolyn's behind the scenes team and our IT team work seamlessly to get that fixed. And so now everything's all great. <laughs> so the self-sustainability. <clears throat> now our team, now that this is like very established and we have many different aspects of different managers from different departments on board. It's very sustained. We push out the overall general information, but they're pretty on with their departments. Some channels share um, department events, uh, cookouts, or they even incentivize their own channels. So like um, our, our food and beverage department does a, uh, a trivia Friday where they can give out a free lunch for whoever answers. And it's just fun to be able to get on there and share things and give away things and let them know they're appreciated and heard. Um, one of the good parts about that app as well is the contact us button. Anything that they put in there comes straight to our emails. We're able to address that right away without any delays or waiting for old snail mail to come in. <laughs> but so the hub is very integral to our corporate communication for our staff from our upper management to our line level. And if you invest in the front line of your businesses, it'll trickle on back up to the highs and it just becomes very solid and stable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so here are some of our content samples. Um, we like to show our strategic vision and our service drivers is what we rate a lot of things on, so we get to show that off. Um, and that's in a banner form, so it scrolls across the top at a speed you'd like. Um, and then we have these wonderful buttons for Soaring Eagle Info, Saginaw Info, Team Member Deals, and Contact Guest Experience, which are customizable. Um, it was very nice to have everything matched up to our brand. We got our logo up there. The little image on the right I get to change and have fun with once in a while. <laughs> and then so you can easily sort those by departments as well. So we have our human resources page which posts a lot of our benefits and um, how a lot of the paper upwork we need updated addresses, all that good stuff. Uh, we're able to post that stuff on here as well and get that out to everyone in an easy manner. <clears throat> so going into that, we do our donation drives. We're able to share um, our winners here, post the flyers. We're also able to utilize one of the modules as the poll. So we're able to see how much interest we have in having uh, semi-monthly bingo sessions rather than quarterly, because people really love those. <laughs> and then we, um, with the consistency and the increase in communication through iHub, we, have had a lot of requests about our management and CEO updates. And so this has actually just started this year where monthly we we're able to post a YouTube video of uh, questions that are answered by our CEO and the questions are submitted by anybody from our team. And we also have uploaded that as a PDF and a list. So if anyone's hard of hearing, they're able to read over that and see what's going on. So everyone's properly informed there used to be a lot of big communication gaps in between that, but since this this uh, platform has happened, a lot of things have changed and in a good way. And that's all I have for now. Anybody have any questions? All right. Yep. Thanks. 
don't currently see any questions just yet, so we'll just uh, continue on. Pass the mic over to uh, Carolyn, or I'm sorry, Heather. Thank you. And now I'll get my let's get my screen pulled up. So and just while Heather pulls up the screen, um, we're getting all loaded. One of the things that I'll just add on Neven's presentation first, it's been absolutely an amazing pleasure to work with Soaring Eagle. They are wonderful and Neven is definitely uh very humble, but an incredible uh person who just like he says it's his baby he really has uh done the customization to make it successful for sorry and eagle and just on the mail servers uh what actually happened was the engagement was so high from the employees um that we were the notifications that were going out amongst all the staff uh the thresholds on their mail servers were set so low <laughs> that they were setting off the alarms and so we got in and and we literally we were like what what's going on and then we realized we thought there was a problem are we sending out too many notifications you know the troubleshooting you do as a tech company ends up it was all legitimate and uh they had just never had that high level of engagement so we all had a really good laugh after that and i said i guess you're welcome i'm sorry for overwhelming we overwhelmed the notifications and uh you know they were like no 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 we're okay with that we've just never actually had this level of engagement. And so uh, that was a really e exciting moment, I think, for both sides. And Heather, I'm so excited to hear from you. Uh, Heather is such a great partner bringing us into so many places. And I think, you know, as you share what you're about to share, I already know this, uh, not those kind of uh, moments like that Neven had at Soaring Eagle are not unusual. Uh, having record levels of engagement with with the platform, and it's really the partners and our clients who who make that success happen. And I'm excited for everyone who's on to uh, to hear from Heather. Well, thank you, Carolyn, and thank you, Neven, for getting us all kicked off. That was lovely. So you'll see kind of like a an, a little bit of a profile because I have to look at a different screen than you all, but. <laughs> Um, so a little bit about myself. Um, I'm Heather Lee. I'm here at Engage Nation, like Darren said. Tomorrow will actually be my sixth anniversary in gaming, so I'm really excited for that milestone. Um, it's been really lovely, but this, the role I'm in now is the first one where I've had the capacity or opportunity to be involved with anything that was on the team member side. Everything I did before was always player facing, so this has been really exciting and I've loved the journey, so we'll get into that, but um, we're going to talk about driving high engagement to your organization. So essentially, first, I'm going to talk about what the issue is, then we'll get into the solution. But right now, I think it's um, easy to say that we're dealing with record levels of, um, there's so everyone is employed. We have record levels of um, low unemployment. And then turnover is very high as well. So with that comes a disengagement epidemic. So people are disengaged in the workplace. Um, this will uh, directly impact a company's bottom line. So I liked how Neben stated it where, you know, um, when you're taking care of your front line, it's going to impact your bottom line. And so, you know, those things do correlate so what we we got these uh, statistics from Forbes, but we have 33% of employees are engaged, 51% are not engaged, and then even um, more than not engaged, but actively disengaged is 16%. So pretty interesting statistics. Then we come into a place also of digital overload. So we are inundated with messages. Um, I, I deal with that firsthand. I'm like, too many emails, I can't. Um, and so we get all of these digital messages every day. Only a hundred or so of them will even register our attention. And then only four to 10 of those will actually be remembered. So how can your business break through the digital clutter when you're looking to hire, engage, and retain employees? So issue, solution. So we like to look at continuous engagement. So in this era where there is high levels of disengagement and turnover, it can become difficult to maintain a high level of customer service. 
The impact of a single negative interaction between a team member and a customer can be costly. Everyone loves to be a Yelp and a Google reviews warrior, so you know how impactful those things can be. Fostering deeper levels of engagement and securing buy-in becomes mission critical. So really getting your employees to understand what the company culture is, how we treat guests, and all of those components, um, that really is the lifeblood of an organization or a casino specifically. And so our continuous engagement methodology can be your strategic cornerstone, ensuring consistent and meaningful interactions that are going to fortify commitment and loyalty across the team. So how do you bring them into what the mission is and then keep them engaged with what that mission is? So we have our reach platform and before that really used to just focus on things that were player facing. So different types of player engagement, whether it's sports or themed promotions. And we took that same technology and we brought it internal. So we provide an interactive web-based platform where we can really highlight a, a business's brand mission and values. So we create interactive edutaining programs that produce quantifiable results, including lower turnover, money savings, and better customer service and experience. And I have some phenomenal statistics on this to share soon. But before that, so we like to enhance team collaboration with a personalized branded progressive web app, our team members can connect directly through devices. So I'm gonna show you guys shortly how we took the reach platform and put it inside of the iHub app to create um, a really unique, I think it, it's um, really the only type of solution I've seen like this um, with the gamification piece. So it'll be really exciting and I'll show you how we brought those two together. But we look to create collaboration within your team, leveraging individual strengths to boost productivity, access personalized team channels tailored for each department's needs, and then executives can send messages to the entire organization for seamless communication. And like I said, I'll be able to walk you through each of those pieces when I open up the hub. So we communicate, learn, and train. We're significantly in with reach, significantly, significantly enhancing the understanding and knowledge base of every team member. Reach serves as a versatile platform that's going to introduce, reinforce, and advance key internal policies or marketing initiatives. And Reach empowers continuous learning and ensures effective communication across your team. All right, we are almost there. I can't wait to show you guys. So, um, but just to go through what that continuous engagement cycle is, because continuous is really the cornerstone of what we do. So we like to edutain the employees with digital games and activities. Then we like to test in a variety of ways to see if they've retained the digital content or the gamified content. We reward them. So we're able to let them earn perks, rewards, drawing entries, virtual currency, and more. And then we re-engage to enhance the behavior, understanding, and engagement. And with that, I am going to show you guys our hub and this was our very first site that we ever did together we are getting ready to launch our third one of these um, where it's our platform within the iHub app uh, this is the first one in like Neben um, this is my baby so we're really proud of this but so here you can see this is the iHub portion itself um, we have the home screen, which we're on right now. Here's messaging, and I won't click into this part, but this allows for bi-directional messaging. And with this, Jacobs Entertainment was able to eliminate two other platforms that they were using to communicate with their team members. Um, so there was a cost savings there. Another thing that is really um, nice about this is they're able to communicate with their team members that they that don't have um, you know, an organizational email, so they don't have one of the Jacobs emails. So it creates that uh, ability to communicate with them. And we can also do push notifications and send SMS messages. 
So for them, it's really important to be able to get out messaging that there's traffic, um, there's snow, things like that. And so they were able to, like I said, replace those other, other platforms and create this centralized hub for their communications. Unlike Neben, they have not yet built out the channels, but this will be coming soon. And so I already know what the vision is, but it's for each department to have their own channel to leverage for communication that's specific for them. So that'll be really exciting to see. Something else that's great is we've made this multilingual so we can have everything in Spanish or in English. And this has really become their intranet. So everything that they want their employees to have access to that has to do with um, their employee, their employee handbook. This is their company culture, essentially, um, different policies. Everything lives right here. So it's really a one stop for their for their team members. And then let me show you the Engage Nation piece. So with Carolyn's team, we worked to create this single sign on. So for the team members, it's really seamless. It looks like everything is just living within the hub. However, this is bringing them to uh, their team member site that's actually hosted by us. Um, and once we created that single sign on, it's been really, uh, really easy for them to go back and forth. So here is their site. And this as well is uh, in English and Spanish. And so I'll go back to that in one moment to the March Madness, but let me show you all this first. So for theirs, we did two questions that we call edutaining. And then we put two in there that are fun just to drive the daily engagement and make it so it wasn't all dry or content based, but we wanted to have something that was just fun as well. And let's see what their trivia question is for today. So only Summit or Apex players for the Lodge may attend the prize party. So I know this from learning enough about the organization <laughs> from doing this consistently. Um, these are their tiers. I'm going to say that's false. And I was right. So I am rewarded with drawing entries. And I'll get into what those go to in a moment. But... What I want to add about the, the learning piece is we've gone through different iterations of this program. So initially, the focus was wanting, they wanted it to be focused on um, exp or reinforcing their company culture. So all of the edutaining games focused on company culture. Then we went into CDOG or Colorado Division of Gaming, regulatory, things like that. We've gone through... Um, promotions that are happening on the floor, all different parts. And then now it's kind of a mixed bag of content based off of different um, months as we progress through the year. But it's been interesting because I've been able to see what their focus was at any given time. And that's what the content was tailored to. I have one that's getting ready to launch where the focus is all going to be Title 31. So really interesting. It's really customizable. And then just to show you the other edutaining game and I won't make you struggle with me to go through a puzzle but you can get the gist and then like I said there's always the fun games as well so tying in with uh, the NCAA basketball tournament that's happening right now we put in a fun game for their employees so these edutaining games they change content every day these change once a month but it keeps it really fresh and exciting for their team members. And then once again, just the resource library. Now, for the drawing entries that they're earning, they have a quarterly drawing. Before they were giving out this same amount of money for attendance, and they were seeing that it wasn't really moving the needle on, and on attendance. Someone would get their bonus for attendance, and let's say that's Carolyn. But Carolyn is already prone to show up for work, so it didn't really change or alter her behavior. And then Heather, who is always, you know, calling in sick and has high absenteeism, 
you know, that bonus isn't, wasn't going to motivate me to alter my behavior either. So they wanted to change that. And so they took that money and they reinvested it into this. So they're able to play those games once a day for drawing entries. And then for the learning content, we take all of the content that they've engaged with over the month and we condense that into a quiz and there's prizing for that as well. So that covers, oh, and just to show you guys one other thing that's fun. So they also do fun things like this uh, that are comparable to what we do for casino players where they'll add in a prop card for a sporting event, or this is the bracket for March Madness. So really fun. They've made it really engaging for their team members. And so with that, they've been able to create some really stellar results. And that is not what I wanted. There we go. So here are Jacob's results straight from the source. So in 2021, before we launched, they were experiencing 102% turnover rate. So very, very high. In 2000, or yeah, 2022, um, when we launched, it dropped down to 85%. And then in 2023, they're down to 51%. So we've literally seen um, their turnover rate cut in half. The team members have increased property knowledge by 15%. And this is based on customer satisfaction surveys that are being deployed. They've been able to save money, like I mentioned, by eliminating other means of communication. And then this is really phenomenal. So in the uh, little over two years that we've been launched or almost two years, I apologize. It'll be two years in May that we've been launched. We have had over 33,000 unique user sessions with an average time on site of almost 11 minutes per session. So their employees are logging in, they're engaged, they're, at, they're interacting with the content. And that equals um, over 350,000 minutes that their employees have spent learning and engaging with the property and company culture. So at the bottom, we have been able to exceed what they had asked us. They asked us to get 80% participation. We've exceeded that. And this number stays, you know, usually between 80 and 85%. So right now it's at 83% participation. And of the 83% of their employees that are participating, 94.7 of those are active in the hub. So the hub has been really a key element in us making this easy to access for the employees and making it so that way they can just click the, the tile on their phone every day, get into the app, complete their activities and participate. So I have this quote from JJ Garcia. He is their vice president and general manager there in Blackhawk. And so he had said that team member engagement is the secret sauce that fuels the engine of organizational success. Engage Nation has the tools and the support to help drive our team initiative forward with their interactive system featuring gamified mechanics. This fun and rewarding program allows us to test the knowledge and retention of our messaging promotional calendar, operational approach, and values. The success of this initiative is clear as nearly 90% of our team members have actively engaged. So, you know, hearing things like that are is obviously very satisfying. So last but not least, with advancing team members, we build to support your goals. So whether it's new employee onboarding, policies and procedures, policy changes and announcements, corporate culture, sales and marketing initiatives, customer service requirements or tips, community relations or health, wellness and safety. It's completely customizable and we work with you to, we work with an organization to build out what that looks like. So it's, it's really incredible. And so I just wanna say thank you for letting me present and I'm gonna hand it over to Carolyn. Thanks so much, Heather. If you wouldn't mind making me the host. You got it, buddy. Thank you. Did it do it? I think I think you did. And I'm going to okay. see if it'll let me uh, start my video. There I am. I'm back. Um, I just want to thank uh, Heather and Neven today for um, sharing 
Uh, you know, Engage Nation is a partner that brings us out into the market and um, Soaring Eagle is a direct customer of iHub app. We, uh, we've been doing some really exciting things. And I just want to recap a couple of things about building engagement into your organizations. Um, one of the things, the lessons that Nibin uh, really helped us understand when we were early into the marketplace um, is that every single uh, organization and even the the different locations and um, of if you are multiple campuses, for example, um, are are personal. And I think understanding your culture is personal. So when you're watching uh, and learning today from both Neven and Heather, understanding that how you bring it into your organization is also going to be unique. So uh, in the case of Neven, the lunch menu is uh, king <laughs> in Sorry Eagle. They use that a lot to drive engagement, bring people in, do that activities. Might be different for your organization. Um, I think the universal lesson, um, you know, Heather and I have talked about what it means to go from, you know, audience engagement to employee engagement, even you heard this uh, directly from Neben, was that when you decide to treat your staff as, as well as the way you treat your customers, right, there is a direct and, and correlation. And when it comes to the iHub app, you know, we're to, we're here talking specifically about the iHub app being used to enhance employee engagement. Our platform is, we actually have thousands of hubs that are being launched. We have people who are using us as their front facing website, as their app into the marketplace for communications. And the employee engagement, which is a private, we called it the walled garden uh, iteration of our platform, it all has the same elements at play together, which is really thinking about the engine that we use to drive communication into those that we are looking to reach. The reason why I had never seen statistics uh, like what I had seen from, from both organizations um, at one point, you know, just like with Neven, we thought there was a problem because there was so much success happening. And then when Heather brought in the those uh, statistics from Jacobs Entertainment, we are, of course, we were delighted. We were, we knew the engine we were creating, but it, and it was very exciting. But a part of that and having been in technology a long time is that you can have a very powerful platform, but if you're not pairing it with the right launch plan, if you're not making it so that people understand like this hub is where I'm going to come to get my updates from you. It doesn't matter if you're an outward external brand or if it's for your internal staff, that piece of it is really, really important. So it's only as good as the launch plans that you're bringing in. And that's why I really loved what Neven shared about how they tried to be all things to all people. And then they were like, okay, this, this seems like too much. Let's narrow it. And then they built up the success and now they're reaping the benefits of it. So I just want to say thank you so much to Heather and Neven. So I'm just going to give you really the shortest background information on the tech side of our platform and what makes iHub app so special. Uh, since the earliest days, we were one of the earliest creators and adopters of progressive web app technology. And that's really important. And it has become critically important now as we enter into 2024. Even seven years ago, this technology has been around a long time. The moment PWA kind of came on the scene, it was immediately seen that engagement went up. Went up. So 50% higher customer engagement. 36% higher conversion rates than a native app in an app store. And, and the size of the hubs and the apps that we have that are both a website and an app, you've heard Neven talk about what they love is that if they have older uh, team members who have flip phones, they can still get access through a desktop computer. That has to do with the way the technology is. It's not like an app. It is an app, it's installing, it is actually engaging with whatever device that it is on. And late last year, progressive web app technology had a huge breakthrough. Uh, the EU ordered uh, Apple to allow siloing, installing of apps into their devices. So progressive web apps now allow, you've heard uh, both Heather and even talk about push notifications. Uh, Heather also has in Jacobs, they've also SMS notifications on channels, which is something that you can do. Uh, I'm not going to go into the full details of everything that is progressive web apps. 
We our latest 2024 future of apps white paper is available to those who want it, and that you can find at inspirehub.com slash white paper. It is uh it is a technical white paper. You'll probably know more about a progressive web apps than your IT manager will love it. Let's just say that. So it gives a lot. Uh, just to recap some of the things that were really important to driving these record levels of engagement um, in the, both the uh, casinos that we've uh, heard about, but also in our wider audience, it really is that instant access. And when we say instant access, we mean it in every way. Unlike other solutions where you have to install, go to put an app store, find it, install it, and then you're given access from the moment they hit the URL and log in, they're in and they're already engaging with it. And it's very, very fast. So that's one of the main key things. There's a lot that goes into iHub app the synchronization of the communications and bringing that newsletter that goes out to an employee is personalized to that newsletter, to, to that employee. That is very powerful and same with the notifications that go out. So if I'm in marketing, I may be interested in receiving notifications from one team, but I may not care about, you know, or have interest or even need about some of the other teams that are out there. So by getting into the space of the employee and saying, what exactly is it that they need to know, they can subscribe or be added to those channels that are important for them. And so when they're receiving those notifications, they're going into their personal newsfeed. It's because this is what Carolyn needs to know. This is what Heather needs to know. And that helps to drive engagement. The other things we've already talked about, you know, easily connect, connecting with remote members, no matter where they're at, they're on their way in and there's a snowstorm, you know, giving them that the roads closed, that's important. Those kind of in information in real time, emergency alerts of any kind can instantly be sent out to staff. Very critical, especially when you're running a large organization, also critical when you have a small organization. Uh, one of the things that we've actually discovered is the power of our product for small businesses that are operating and how important it is to have that one place where everybody knows that is reliable and that they can get those notifications immediately and be collaborating together. We have some other things uh, available in the product like feedback and the ability to go in and problem solve together uh, by having conversations beneath posts that have been put up or videos or even slides, all automatically embedded, all there and notifying teams when there's a comment and making it very, very smooth. Um, I do want to mention the emergency alert. It's again, because that is important. You know, if you've ever had uh, been at a place, there's an incident that might be happening of some kind. I've already mentioned the, you know, the breaking news for weather uh, where I live uh, near Michigan. That's a big problem with road closures and making sure that staff are, are fully aware of what's happening. Uh, emergency alert could also be, you know, for example, one of the restaurants had to close for some reason. So making sure that all staff are not having to deal with those frustrated customers or that there are promotions and materials that are available that are really important. Uh, the one piece we, we, we I really want to talk on, um, both Heather and Neben did uh, refer to this, but just to go in detail, when you are setting up the channels, uh, whether it's a team channel, a topic channel, an action channel, whatever those channels are, you have the ability to set who gets to see those channels, who can join those channels, and also who has the rights to publish and notify and do all those things within those channels. That's really important. Obviously, if you have a senior leadership channel that's coming out from the CEO, you don't want to make that available for anybody to publish it to, to it. Maybe just the CEO can publish to it. So our user management system is very powerful. It allows you to have all of those controls. And it also helps the entire organization be streamlined in, in who is seeing what of the communications. Um, so I just want to thank everybody again uh, for being here today. We're coming to the end of this uh, of this uh, presentation together. It was brought to you by Engage Nation, our partner who is bringing employee engagement solutions out into the marketplace. So at this point, I'm going to make Heather the host again.
if Heather wants to come um, back on in. And uh, we will receive any questions about employee engagement um, or anything that you may have in terms of uh, creating that effective engagement into your company. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Carolyn. Yeah, thanks, Carolyn. Uh, so it looks like we do have a question from an anonymous. So um, going to, to Neben, um, when you mentioned uh, the slides about adoption, um, besides hurdles of the older audience, um, what resources did you need on site to assist uh, employees with maybe downloading or having the app installed? So what we did Maybe. is we were made ourselves available throughout our different shifts and we sat outside of our team member dining and was able to assist anyone who needed who needed it. And yeah, I think that's basically it. We were just there and available for anybody who needed some help. I, I can add to that, Darren. Um, I actually got to live in the EDR at Jacobs, not once, but twice, camped out. So the first time um, we went through the process, it was a learning curve for myself as well. So, you know, helping all of the employees to get it onto their phone. And um, it ended up being pretty easy. I didn't realize how many, uh, you know, older phones there are out there in the world. That was intriguing. <laughs> But um, we got through it and it was interesting because there was some resistance to signing up. People were like, oh, you're going to track me and some other crazy stuff. And I was like, well, yes, I'm very bored and like to track you. But, <laughs> you know, um, it's not tracking. <laughs> yeah, it, it was the craziest thing. Like I, I didn't anticipate some of the objections that I heard. But then going back, uh, I would say about six months later, the willingness to participate had jumped at infinitum. Like there was a really small subset of people that said, I'm never going to participate, but everybody else was like, sign me up. Let me get it on my phone. I want to be a part of it because all it took was one person from their department winning a prize or them seeing somebody else that they knew engaged and all of a sudden they're missing an alert that made them want to then join. So that was really cool. Mm -hmm. And I'll just jump in too and say that, you know, I've had the privilege of working along many different platforms, not just the one that I help, you know, with this team create. Um, and what I have observed, and people laugh when I say this, is that everybody likes to talk about that they're change agents and innovators and that we all think that we are. But then if you get down to it, we all hate change. We just hate change. And it's like, oh no, here's one more thing I'm gonna have to learn, one more thing that I'm gonna have. And, and so it's that, and it's not about that product. That product could be saving them, I've seen this, 25, 50% of their time. It's this idea that they have in their head that it's one more thing when I'm already so busy. One more thing when I have too much to do. And so when you're engaging any audience, you know, whether with your brand, helping them get that initial hurdle or even having a few people who are like, no, 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 this is this is actually really going to save us time and, and keep you in the know is a huge difference maker. And I think Neben and his team, I really loved what happened with, with that whole organization because they were on top of like all the hype, like, let's do it this way. We're going to bring it. I remember they're like, we love this so much. Everybody's going to love this. We're going to bring it to all of our teams all at once. It's going to be great. And then it was like three months later, we were in a call and it was like this, you know, what's happening. And it was interesting because what they did when they narrowed it, right, is they got a few key, it's just like anything in the world. They got a few key influencers who are just like in, and they brought along everybody else. It was like that moment that, and it's, it's like that with everything. It really is. Like I tell everybody, come on, think of that first time you heard about that first new social media platform. And you're like, oh, not another one. What's this about? Now I have to go in and learn a whole new thing. And then like 60 days later, you know, you're, you're completely addicted and you're like, I can't believe I used to operate my life without this, you know, 
thing that's sucking everything out of my personal time. Um, so, so I think that it's just one of those things where when you are getting into it and helping to overcome and, and drive that initial piece at the beginning, um, I, there's, there's no magic formula, no matter if you're listening in on today's webinar, you're going to need to make sure you put in the proper ramp. Full stop. There's a lot to be gained on the other side, having the incentives, doing the training, bringing in those things all are critical, but on the back end, you're going to get so much time back. I mean, I love Jacob's entertainment. Like that is crazy. In 24 months, they have, you know, gone from a hundred, what was it? 103% to 51%. Think about the amount of money they have retained by driving down their attrition. Like that's just, but just that, that's an incredible number. And so, and I know that like when that first time Neven said, oh, this is, this is my baby. It's, it's making our lives so simple, but it all comes down to that, that initial investment up front. I want to add one other thing in. So after we went through that process of getting everybody initially signed in, now Jacobs has made it a part of their onboarding. So when someone new comes in, and I actually got to attend an onboarding at my last property visit. So they have them come in and of course they're getting them into, you know, their payroll software and doing all the other things, but they walk them through the hub process right there in the onboarding. And so everybody coming in from that point forward is just automatically signed in. Um, they're a part of it. And so it's just that initial, you know, getting that initial investment, like you said, Carolyn. And then after mm -hmm. that, you're just adding in your new employees. So it's really seamless. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I would like to also add to that as well. Um, we also do the same type of thing. Uh, we introduce our department uh, to our weekly orientation groups and they actually receive a card with instructions to email us and join the hub and what the benefits are. And we use the team dining and our ticket giveaways as selling points to get on there. Um, but yeah, they love it. So I have I have a question for both for Heather and even then. So if you look back and you think about the beginning and now you think about where you are, what what has been you can it can be about anything. What has been the most surprising thing to uh, in the use of creating this engagement? and using this technology, what has been the most surprising thing to each for each of you? It's, it's, a, it's a, a tough question. I know I put it in on the spot. We didn't practice this webinar attendees before. It's a, it's a surprise <laughs> question about surprise. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm more surprised about the dependability on it nowadays. Whereas beforehand, it didn't seem like it had caught on that well. But now that it's very established, we have at least one manager in each department who's kind of specialized in their area. It's just surprising, yeah, like how necessary it is for most people or how much they actually use it. Yeah, and having been on the journey with you, I remember because, you know, it has been, uh, I think we're going in our third year now, right? Yeah. And I remember there was such a resistance and there was, you know, there was champions within the organization who understood we have these gaps. We have a tool. It was like, we have a tool that fixes the gaps that you're frustrated about. So why don't, why aren't we using it? Right. Mm -hmm. And so, um, especially in those early days of, you know, and I, I, I know that you already said this, Neven, but I think that aha moment for you was when you went to the front lines, they started seeing the value and then you just use the data because then it became like, oh, this is being adopted by the, the front lines and, you know, maybe this will actually fix it. And so you're right. When you say that about, the surprise being what I think about having been in those moments where we were like, maybe this won't, we won't even be given the chance to show the power that we have. It's like literally having a rocket ship to get you to the moon. And someone's like, I want to go to the moon, but I don't want to get on your rocket ship. <laughs> right. Yeah. So you did, I want to say kudos to you and the team because you really did a great job and you came up with the solutions for your own company to, to show them and, and then it launched and now you're reaping the benefits. And what about you, Heather? 
I would say that um, the the adoption and the statistics from the Jacobs, you know, it being our first are incredible. But then we've been able to replicate that. So we also have this um, already launched and well into um, well into their production at Swinomish. And they also have over 80% engagement. So it's just incredible. Like I didn't anticipate that. But something else that happened that was really surprising is I'd never dealt with, you know, large numbers of frontline employees, especially not where they're, they almost treated me like I was a part of the organization. So a lot of the sassiness, and I just didn't anticipate that. And a gentleman who was one of the, the biggest um, naysayers when I was there the first time, when I went back, he had actually come up with ideas of what he wanted to see that he thought would make it more fun, including leaderboards and prizes that were more experiential, like a stay at the hotel, um, a parking space for the month, things like that. So we have incorporated, we have incorporated a leaderboard usually every other month or so to try to um, add in some of their ideas with like a special game that has the leaderboard. So it's just crazy when you can turn um, basically a defector into a champion. And so it's been really exciting. It's, it is exciting. And I will say this, um, I have in both cases, I had, um, when the results started coming back and the employee engagement started coming back, those numbers I I had not ever seen before that high and and then seeing the direct impact because I read you know we read all the academic research that's out there from Forbes that says if you can drive your employee engagement then it's going to have impacts and but seeing it live in real time has been deeply rewarding for the for the I have app team okay we're over here grinding out this tech and then to see it working that has been wonderful um, well, thank you, everyone. And Darren, do you have uh, anything to add? Of course, always. Um, just final thought. Carolyn's right. Um, employees make the difference. And I deal with a lot of um, casino clients that have launched some really complex promotions, mobile apps, programs for their players. And employee engagement was key in several of those launches. So being able to communicate clearly, even getting them involved in the technology always makes it easier on your guests um, because they can sort of relate and, and, and help them and, and be very knowledgeable, which you don't want anybody shrugging your shoulders when somebody comes up to an employee and asks them a question about something that's going on. So, um, no, no, that was it. Thank you uh, for the today's presentation, Carolyn um, and even and, and Heather. This was fantastic. Uh, do you want to say any final words just to let people know, are you guys attending IGA? I will be there. Please come and see me. Booth 917. <laughs> awesome. All right. Thanks well, then for joining us, everybody. <laughs> yeah, thank you. And thank find, you. Find Heather at IGA. And if you have any questions or want the recording, uh, we'll be sending it out. But feel free to email any of us, and we'll make sure that you get uh, your questions answered and anything that you need. So thanks, everybody. Great. Thanks, everyone. Have a good Bye -bye. one. Bye-bye.